But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will be the coming of the son of man. For as in the days before the flood, there were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day, until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will be this coming of the son of man. And he goes on to say some other things there. Now, let me point out right here, something that we're going to need to know as we go through this series. First of all, there is a difference between the rapture and the second coming. And oftentimes people mix those two events together when they are two separate events. One happens first when Jesus comes in the air. Seven years later, Jesus comes back and touches the earth. The first one, he comes for his church. The second one, he comes with his church. So what happens first is the rapture of the church. I bring that up because in just a moment, that's going to be very important. He talks about as it was in the days of Noah. What does he mean about the days of Noah? Well, first of all, here's an interesting thought. Did you know that Noah's ark is a picture of the rapture before tribulation? See, God put them into the ark and shut the door, which is a picture of in Christ. He closed the door. They were sealed. They were safe and they were protected. When the flood waters came, when the tribulation came, they were lifted up off of the earth. So we'll talk about the different raptures that have happened and that will happen as well. But he said, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be before Jesus comes back. So in Noah's day, what they were saying is that everybody's ignoring the signs. Nobody's paying attention. Everybody's going on with life as usual. They saw signs, but they ignored the signs. I mean, think of it this way. Here was a guy that was building an eight story tall boat, not even near the water. For over a hundred years, he was building a boat that was eight stories tall, 150 yards long, telling people, you better get ready, a flood is coming. Something is going to change. People mocked him, people ignored him, people paid no attention to what he was doing. All their lives, they heard that story to the point that they didn't even believe it. The Bible said until the flood waters began to come and it was too late, they were all taken away. We have heard it all of our life, but I'm saying that today we literally see the handwriting on the wall. 